so now uh, we will create the catch so as you can see com dot android dot volley option is there right so we'll create the cache memory say disk base cache and get cache directory and so here we are creating cache memory for 1 MB now let's create the network object say network as you can see there are two options so we will select it from only network say network is equal to new new stock so this will represent our network so here we have initiated cache memory and here we have created network object now let's create request object so say request queue right request queue is equal to new request queue and we will pass cache and network so this will initiate our request of so now just let's begin our request queue by using start method right and now we will require one url uh, url for our database right means uh, where our database is located so say string URL is equal to two, and we will paste our URL. So here I have one volley file, right? I have shown this in previous video. Let me show it again. So as you can see, right here, we will create one connection. Here, this text will be replaced by your password, right? So we have to create such file over here so when we will pass username and password from the activity this file this volume.php file over here you can name it anything right this file will be responsible i mean to say this file will receive the username and password and check for the entries in table so here you can right click on it and can select view so you will have path for this file you can simply copy this file right and and you can paste it over here so whenever we start our request okay it will refer to this file volley.php now using volley we can create any request i mean to say string request json request image request so here we will create simple string request create string request say string request is equal to new string request so here first parameter will be the kind of method we supposed to use that is get or post so say request dot method and say post now second parameter yeah, will be you or url so url and third parameter will be listener let's create listener mm. say response listener or you can use control space and just press enter as you can see you have such code right so sometimes it might be difficult to find where to put semicolon right so simply what you can do you can just put semicolon first and then use control space and press enter so you will have semicolon over here as you can see where 
parameter ends for this string request. So we have to add one another parameter that is listener when we receive error, right? So send me again and implement the error listener, right? So here we have to pass four parameter. First parameter will be the method. Second parameter will be the URL. Third will be listener when we receive the response and fourth for the error response means when we receive error so this way we will implement the uh, request i mean to say we will initiate the request and start and now when we receive the response okay this on response method get called so you can write down appropriate code over here and if we receive error right from the volley.php file then this on error response method get called so let me print some appropriate message say toast let's create one toast and let me pass uh, let me display message uh, login success or you can also print the response received uh, from the volley file and that will be in response string Right, so just say message and let's print the response we received from volley.php file. From this PHP file, what response we receive will be printed in toast and let me make it long. Right, and if we receive error, then again let me print toast and this will display some message say something went wrong right now here we have to pass username and password then and then this volley.php file will be able to check username and password so we have to pass username and password and our username and password are in u and p variable so we have to implement get param method so now let's just implement that so in between this <coughs> parenthesis and semicolon right we have to implement get param method so just start the curly braces and get param oh as you can see in a suggestion we have this get param method so just implement it right and here we have written super dot get param. So let's create map string comma string variable variable name should be string map say is equal to new has map. So this way. We will create one map variable and now just add username and password to string map. Use put. We will use put method to put our data and say username and our username value will be u because here u contains the username and p contains password the so same way we will add password say password p let me remove this write down return we have to return something because this method returns map value so return string map and put semicolon so now our almost coding uh -huh, yes uh, just let me stop the request queue right because we have received the response so we supposed to stop the request queue right so now our almost code is complete so 
will add our string request using add method and just passed our request that we have created that is our string request so we are passing this string request to our request queue and this request queue will manage catch and network right so just write it down string request now we just let run our program so now don't forget to add the internet permission right as we are using volley so we required internet connection so now just pass username that is hiren and our password will be by as and just click on the login and as you can see user found message is there right as you can see in a database so as you can see in our database username is here and thus yes is the password right that's why it's showing user found if you type username here and one and try to log in then it will display error message or appropriate message say no records matching your query were found so this message is displaying from this volley.php file as you can see could not uh, sorry yes no records matching your query were found and if we found user they are displaying user found right so this way you can use volley to send simple string request